No, I, I think Marvel number one. The biggest thing of Marvel number one is that it, it's the it is the first technically the first Marvel comic, but most importantly, it's the first Marvel comic that was dropped as an NFT for, from Marvel, right? Oh, okay. So so as a digital collectible, it has massive historical significance for that reason, and that's why I think you, you're seeing the prices go up for the secret rares like crazy because you, you got a bunch of whales coming in and just swooping up on the. <laughs> Yo, what's going on my VVOGs, my homie homies, my comic collectors, and everybody else on YouTube? It's your bromie, the Gale. Back at it again with another third eye conversation. This time, comics, comics, comics. Whoa. Digital comics on the VV app are exploding right now, guys. And uh, it's crazy. It's, it's, a, it's a beautiful thing, though. In this video, we're going to talk about it. We're just going to listen to a few personalities. We're going to look at the prices and the history and just uh, talk about these comics. The person in the intro you were listening to was uh, Mr. Sean O'Hare. He's another uh, comic guru within the uh, VV community, comic ex expert, uh, similar to the comic way. And um, yeah, man. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Wendy. Shout out to Wendy Stibales. That was from her VV Nights. Uh, she holds those on Instagram from time to time. So shout out to Wendy as well. And uh, yeah, let's just get into it, guys. So I took a snippet from my live stream right after the drop, uh, the first comic drop ever. And just let's take a look at these prices. We see $5 for the common. Um, it, they dropped at $7. I just wanted to take a quick look at these prices. $24 for the Uncommon. Uh, we see $6, $14 for uh, sub 10,000 mint there. Let's scroll down a little bit more. Let's see. We got $69 for a rare. Come on now. $38 for a 5,000 mint Uncommon. $110 for a 5,000 rare. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. That's a bid. We got $85 for a rare. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah. Yeah, people were listing these at crazy prices right after the drop. $14 for a 7,000 mint. We got $30 for a 2,000 mint for this uh, comic book right here. I want to see if we can see an ultra rare real quick. Uh, no, we don't. Oh, hold on. Okay, anyway, let's let's check out let's check out the current prices now. All right, this is September 11th, um, uh, 2021. 829 Marvel Comics issue ones left in the secondary market. They currently have a floor of 37, 38 dollars. So, this is a significant increase over the past what three, three, four weeks? I want to say three weeks. Uh, and this is just for the common. This is Marvel, Marvel Comics issue number one. Let's take a look at the uncommon. Uncommon has, has a floor of sixty-five dollars, guys. Can you believe it? Sixty-five dollars. They had a. They were going for like thirteen to twenty-four right after the drop. Uh, they were going for like twenty-four for the longest time until just recently. Let's take a look at the rare. Eighty-seven left. The rare is going for two hundred and ninety-nine dollars, guys. I was able to scoop up a, a mint of uh, 2800 uh, in the secondary market like a couple of weeks after the drop. Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's only nine uh, rares above the one that I scooped up currently in the secondary market. And I, I picked it up for $80. So, so mine is now worth about... Eight hundred dollars or so, seven to eight hundred dollars, and I picked it up for eighty dollars, guys. Crazy opportunities right now in the VV secondary market. Let's take a look at the ultra rare real quick, if I can find it. They always refresh. Okay, one twenty left. Ultra rare is going for four hundred dollars for a floor. I mean, five hundred dollars for the floor, guys. Crazy, and I don't even. Uh, do you do, do you even want to look at the secret rare? Do you? If you don't have one, do you really want to look at it? We're gonna look at it in anyway. Let's check. It. Let's check it out. Hold up. Let's check it out. Fifty-two left, and the floor is oh thirteen point seven k. Okay, it wasn't like eighteen dollars, so the floor is thirteen point seven k for the secret rare for Marvel's issue number one. This is crazy. This is crazy, guys. Um, we're gonna take a look at. We're gonna listen to. Um, 
uh, a video taps trades just made. And I think this might be the cause of the recent influx of, um, you know, buyers. So let's listen to that. Who's a well-known NFT enthusiast and NFT whale known best by his moniker of DCL blogger. And Maddie, DCL blogger, rubs elbows with many, many in the crypto space, including Gary V and Coindesk. Reuters is not crypto, but very, very big name in just the business world. But Pio had a recent interview with Maddie and listen to what he says in this interview where he's discussing how he was going to actually sweep the floor on the comics within Vivi, but didn't yet and why he didn't. I think opportunity is like a drug, right? There's just so much opportunity and to think you'd miss some thing that comes your way. Like the other day, and this kills me, but um, four days ago, there was, so Marvel are dropping comic mints, like official licensed comics on V. On right? VV, yeah. VV. And um, man, I don't know if you were able to pick like the 1939 mint or the very first ones. But they're 20k, 15k, 20k USD. I remember looking at them and they were 8k and I was gonna sweep the floor and grab like 10 of them, but I could not bring my money because they're only accepting like fiat, they're not accepting crypto. So my bank would have issues and I just couldn't do it. But I'm just like, I can't do anything but helplessly watch that increase from 4k to 8k and now it's at 17k in the last four days. What that actually means, because 1939 is the first ever comic that Marvel released, right and so that's the first ever nft mint that marvel released as a comic and so if they go on to to mint everything else from now as comic books then yo that's like your nakamoto rare pepe right there wow. right yeah so for me going back and looking at that post drop and analyzing it as a whole sort of investment into marvel's future into the nft space i think it's, it's pretty interesting so that may have been the catalyst that have uh, awakened a lot of people to uh, the insight of what whales are thinking and stuff like that so um, there's another comic that I think will be next and I think it's going to be this Fantastic Four issue number one here currently sitting at $8.40 but I'm going to let my man's uh, Sean O'Hare explain why I think this is next as well Marvel number one will be probably the most popular for that reason um, even though it doesn't really have a lot of cemented value for pop culture so, uh, Marvel number one, actually, Stan Lee never worked on Marvel number one. That came out in 1939. And then uh, 1961, that's when Fantastic Four number one came out. And it's what's really interesting about that book, I mean, he was he was kind of figuring out his path uh, in the comic book world. And his, he was, I think he was actually talking about possibly giving it up, and his wife convinced him. My brother-in-law told me the story. It's really cool. Uh, his, his wife told him you need to create a comic that you would love to read one that you as a fan would love to read and that you would really enjoy it and see, see how that resonates and he decided to put it all into uh, a comic called fantastic four one and that's what that's what that's, that's how it came to be so yeah so there's a lot of historical so and now it also so that's typically the first comic fantastic four one is the first comic that was uh released as marvel as we know today that was the corporation marvel uh, that was the first official comic um and also it's the first comic that, that he worked on with jack kirby and jack kirby's an artist who pretty much created every character that we know today yeah but fantastic uh, the black panther um silver surfer galactus i mean he worked on every every comic in the 60s pretty much was 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 uh was from him so they're all gonna do well um, but I think if you're going to focus on two, it's definitely Marvel 1 for sure, and then um, uh, Fantastic Four number one, which I think in, over time, it's going to be a close, a very close second. There'll be a photo finish between the two for that reason. Because Thank of pop, you, because, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it, it, it's, it's cemented in pop culture. And also, uh, one of the biggest things that drive up co the value of comic books is speculation and news. And... In about two years, we're going to see the Fantastic Four have their own film in the MCU. So for that reason, yeah, it's already been confirmed. Kevin Feige actually announced it at the last like Marvel big big Marvel announcement. And but we're like probably a year or two away from that. And when that happens, it's, it, this book is still going to be more popular. But by that time, by two years, hopefully, comic collectors will, will adopt this. And uh, and over time, especially those characters, the Fantastic Four characters are going to be extremely popular when the film comes out. So this book's going to skyrocket. Yeah. So I, that's why I think it's probably it's, it's incredibly undervalued right now. Oh, okay. Well, I'm starting to understand like 
value of, of, of these comics, and there's tremendous value in comics. Like people spend a ridiculous amount of money every day on comics. It's unreal. And the market has never been more hot than ever than right now. And and I, I think what's really fun about VV and what they're doing with the, with Marvel is that it's it's making it's I think it's only gonna increase the audience over time. Like mm-hmm. physical collectibles are going to get bigger. And it's not taking away from the real world, it's enhancing it, it's growing the, the awareness and the uh, the passion. So that's what's most exciting about VV right now. Wasn't that also very enlightening? especially coming from somebody who's been in the comic world before VV dropped the comics. So we are now on the wealthygorilla.com and we are looking over the 20th or the 20 most expensive comic books in the world. And as we scroll down, we're going to start to see some familiar comics, 17 action comics, 15, 14. Okay. 13 fantastic Four issue. Number one, sold for $300,000 possibly one of the most like important comic books on the list is the Fantastic Four which sold for $300,000 in 2011 created by Stanley and Jack Kirby in 1961 this book shows the Fantastic Four's first adventure if the Fantastic Four weren't created we most likely wouldn't have any of the Marvel characters we that we enjoy today so this comic book holds a lot of historic significance um and yeah i mean that's all there is to say about that for now uh we got the incredible hulk captain america and coming in at number 10 we have marvel comics issue number one that sold for three hundred and fifty thousand dollars. starting off our top 10 count is the first ever issue of marvel comics many popular superhero characters are introduced in this issue such as the human torch and namor the submariner today Marvel Comics is better known as just Marvel and has gone on to become one of the biggest entertainment companies in the world. So now you can probably have a better idea of why this comic was the first to moon and that's why I think this comic will be next and it is currently only $8.40. So I know most of you are probably pausing the video to go out and get some more and I don't blame you (laughs) but if you're not that's fine too. So let's just scroll down to see uh, what we what else we might can look forward to on the VV app. We got Iron Man here. Uh, we don't have DC Comics yet. We, we do have X-Men though, so this would be a good one to look out for. Uh, issue number one, of course. Uh, we got the Batman issue number one. All-Star Comics. We got Detective Comics. And then this is one that we need to look out for. The Amazing Fantasy issue number 15. The first appearance of uh, Spider-Man. This can possibly rival Marvel issue number one. So uh, definitely need to participate in this drop if and when we have that. And then, of course, we got the Superman, the comic that started it all off. Action Comics issue number one. And if this ever drops on the VV app, have your gems ready. Cancel all plans because you need to get your hands on this copy. Yeah. So uh, let's move on. So, as we have seen and heard, uh, the digital comics on VV are all undervalued, and um, there's a lot of opportunity, I think, that is still present within um, these comics. The whales are still waiting to jump on board because we're not on Ethereum yet. We're still on a closed ecosystem. All of the comics are on VV. The whales can't bring their crypto bags into the app yet. I think there's like only like a $500 limit per day. So we still have the opportunity to load up. This is a big opportunity for us. Um, but yeah. And I just wanted to make the point that whenever there's a new product dropped anywhere, but especially on VV, people get confused. They don't know how to price them. And uh, that's where the opportunity lies. So as soon as we heard that VV was going to be dropping comics onto the app, We should have been doing our research. We should have been looking into the top most expensive comics. We should have been looking into what are popular comics, Marvel comics, whatever. Um, We should have been getting ahead of the game so that when the time came, we weren't scrambling around. Like there were, there was a tons of opportunities for me and everybody else to grab comics at $5, $3, $4. And a lot of us, I think we just left them there because we didn't understand the value that these comics held until after the fact. Um, 
you know, usually people, the masses, they don't like to take action until they see the price rising. And then they want to look into it. Like, why is it rising? And like I was just saying, you want to look into it before so you can be ahead of that curve and you can have your bags loaded and possibly take profit or just hold and watch your uh, bags increase in value. So, um, yeah, the comics are undervalued. Lots of opportunity. And uh, going forward, we need to be looking into what kind of comics could possibly drop on VV and be ready. I think the cat's pretty much out of the bag right now. So um, I think we need to be focusing on Marvel issue number one and the Fantastic Four. And we definitely need to be ready for when uh, Spider-Man issue number 15 or his first appearance comic comes out because that's going to be a banger. And uh, this is why many whales in the NFT space have been on the sidelines just waiting to hop in. They need that ability to buy as many as they want, as fast as they want, have true ownership, and be able to cash out, not just have gems to buy more collectibles. That's all coming in the next couple weeks. That's what OpenSea offers, and it's not just Maddie. We've seen plenty of NFT enthusiasts mention Vivi, but not say that they've hopped in yet. Why? Because they're just biding time. They're waiting for this to kick off into OpenSea. It's going to be a field day. And that's the video, my friends. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. If you were entertained and or learned something, feel free to drop a like on the video and uh, consider subscribing for more content like this. So yeah, man, what else is needed, needed to be said? I don't know. But uh, yeah, comics are some sleepers on the VV app. And uh, I think, I think, I think you know what to do from now. I mean, by now, if you, if you watch this video, you have an idea of what you need to be doing. But uh, other than that, I am not a financial advisor. I'm no expert. I'm just your friendly neighborhood genius sharing his thoughts and opinions on uh, the happenings on the BB app. So take everything that I say with a grain of salt because I could be wrong. Uh, but yeah, once again, thank you for watching. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Until then, peace out and hodl strong, my friends. Later.